I think this this project of making a robot arm was pretty e e good. Me and my brother Alex did pretty good on making it. So, if you can't tell, this is an Engineers Week project, and what we're going to do is we're going to build a robot arm. So we've got a bunch of materials in here. These are kind of the things that we're going to pick up. So it's like uh, toxic, you know, waste, and we're going to try to, we can't touch it with our own arms, so we're going to use some robot arms. So for example, here are some sticks, and you can see they have like holes in them, all right? Now, normally I could just go and like, okay, I can pick up some materials, but, right, we have to stay far away. So the rule is going to be that you have to be at least two sticks from where your hand is to where you're picking up things. So what we can do, we can use these things, which are called binder tabs. These are just, you know, your normal staples thing. So if you line up two of them, for example, right, and you just extend that, now you have something that can move. Uh, if you line it up a little bit differently, right, a, a little bit further down, then you can maybe double it up, and now you have a, an extender thing. Thank you. And then for the actual grasping materials, we have lots of different things. So you, the kids can have rubber bands, they can have Dixie cups, like this, and binder clips. And we can see with binder clips, right, you can just kind of attach to this. So if we see, we'll try to see, what do you think, so what some look like? So as you can see here, we have a few robot arms. And like we said, the length is about two feet. So using these, for example, these are like extendo arms, right? And I can try to pick up something in here. It's a little bit difficult. These are using uh, foam uh, circles. Here's something with Dixie cups. Dixie cups are a little bit easier. You can even do it with one, but some of the things aren't gonna work with one, right? It's like the crayon is very difficult. So that's not a good design. You can do things like a little accordion style. And we're using the binder clips in this case. And this accordion can just pick up things like that. So there's a lot of different options. And mine. And Matthew's. So, so with kids, we can do a lot of different things. So we can give them only 30 seconds to pick up as many objects as possible. You can do, if you want to incorporate programming into it, we'll have something for that as well, where there's only a few moves that they can make. And, you know, their teammates have to write down the moves that they're going to do, or they're going to use those moves. For, so, for example, left arm forward, right arm forward. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to do this. So we'll have a full write-up on all that. But it's nice because it requires no throwing out any materials at the end. Make sure all the, the kids and the students take it apart, right? All these tabs come right out. Make sure the students do this so that you're not at the end of every class, you know, trying to take apart all the designs back over again. And we're going to try to reuse all the materials if possible. So all these sticks, right, these, the rubber bands, all this can just get reused for our next class. All right. What do you think of the project?